the Clockworks. Item number, SCP-914. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. Only personnel who submit a formal request and receive approval from Site Command may operate 914. SCP-914 is to be kept in Research Cell 109-B, with two guard personnel on duty at all times. Any researchers entering 109-B are to be accompanied by at least one guard for the entirety of testing. A full list of tests to be carried out must be given to all guard personnel on duty. Any deviation from this list will result in termination of testing, forcible removal of personnel from 109-B, and formal discipline at Site Command's discretion. Warning: At this time, no testing of biological matter is allowed. Refer to document 109-B-117. Applying the rough setting to explosive materials is not advised. Description: SCP-914 is a large clockwork device weighing several tons and covering an area of 18 square meters, consisting of screw drives, belts, pulleys, gears, springs, and other clockwork. It is incredibly complex, consisting of over 8 million moving parts comprised mostly of tin and copper, with some wooden and cloth items observed. Observation and probing have shown no electronic assemblies or any form of power other than the main spring under the selection panel. Two large booths, 3 meters by 2.1 meters by 2.1 meters, 10 feet by 7 feet by 7 feet, are connected via copper tubes to the main body of SCP-914, labeled intake and output. Between them is a copper panel with a large knob and a small arrow attached. The words rough, coarse, one-to-one, -one, fine, and very fine are positioned at points around the knob. Below the knob is a large key that winds the main spring. When an object is placed in the intake booth, a door slides shut, and a small bell sounds. If the knob is turned to any position and the key wound up, SCP-914 will refine the object in the booth. No energy is lost in the process, and the object appears to be in stasis until the output booth door is opened. Intense observation and testing have not shown how SCP-914 accomplishes this, and no test object has ever been observed inside SCP-914 during the refining process. The process takes between 5 and 10 minutes, depending on the size of the object being refined. Addendum May 14th, Dr. Blank Test Log Input 1 kilogram of steel, setting, rough, output Pile of steel chunks of various sizes, appearing to be cut by laser. Input. 1 kilogram of steel. Setting. 1 to 1. Output. 1 kilogram of steel screws. Input. 1 kilogram of steel. Setting. Fine. Output. 1 kilogram of steel carpet tacks. Input. 1 kilogram of steel. Setting. Very fine. Output. Several gases that dissipated into the air quickly, and one gram of an unknown metal, resistant to heat of 50,000 degrees, impossible to bend or break with any force, and a near-perfect 1.6 by 10 to the negative 75th power row conductor of electricity. Input, one wristwatch belonging to Dr. Blank, setting course. Output, one completely disassembled wristwatch. Input, one cell phone belonging to Blank, setting 1 to 1. Output, one cell phone, although different to make and model. Input, one standard Colt Python revolver. Setting, very fine. Output, data expunged. Aforementioned blank completely disintegrated all matter in its line of fire. Object contained with high density gamma waves. Input, one white mouse. Setting, one to one. Output, one brown mouse. Input, one chimp. Setting, fine. Output, data expunged. Input, one chimp. Setting, rough. Output, badly mutilated corpse, showing signs of crushing and cutting with high heat. Document number, 109-B-117, Dr. Blank and Dr. Blank test log. Input, subject D-186, male Caucasian, 42 years old, 108 kilograms, 185 centimeters tall, setting 1 to 1. Output, male Hispanic, 42 years old, 100 kilograms, 188 centimeters tall. Subject was very confused and agitated. Subject attacked security personnel. Subject terminated. Input. Subject D-187. Male Caucasian. 28 years old. 63 kilograms. 173 centimeters tall. Setting. Very fine. Output. Data expunged. Subject escaped from test chamber, killing eight guards as well as Dr. Blank and Dr. Blank. Lockdown initiated. Subject causes containment failure of three SCP areas in continued escape attempt. Special response team engages subject, resulting in severe wounding of subject, partial memory loss in special response team members, and corrosive damage to plumbing. 
Subject expired several hours later, dissolving into blue ash and blinding nearby research team. Biological testing with SCP-914 discontinued. Note, because of the nature of this SCP, a wide range of test data would be helpful. Dr. Gears has ordered that any researcher can have access for non-biological testing if they themselves are, or they are supervised by a level 3 researcher. All testing is to be recorded in file 914-E, experiment log 914. Biological testing will continue only with prior clearance by O5 command. As long as you want to try something mundane that isn't alive, feel free to help accumulate data. Dr. Blank.